Building on problem 81 where I showed the exponential distribution and the geometric distribution satisfied this, the memoryless property, we're now going to show that the geometric distribution is the only distribution on the positive integers with this property. Now, at first thought you might think, okay, so in problem 81 I showed that the geometric satisfy this property then it means that we should go through all the other discrete random variables and show this property doesn't hold. Well that method doesn't work because the li limitless uh, discrete random variables. So we have to think about working from this condition and going down to the PMF, the property mass function for geometric which I've written here in black. All right, so somehow from here I have to get down to here. Okay, well first of all, let's think about strategy. This involves conditional probabilities. I haven't got any conditional probabilities here. So an idea is to rewrite this condition not involving conditionals. We note that the numbers m and n here take the value, integral value 0, 1, 2, and so on. Okay, so let's think about rewriting this condition. Um, just using this result in the green here, let a denote that, b denote that set, then we know this condition holds. Bring the b up there, and then I've got this line in brown. The left hand side guys simplifies to blue. Why? Because what does it mean to say? Let's think of a diagram. X is bigger than the number m plus n. And x is bigger than number m. Well n plus m must be bigger than or equal to m because of the values that they take. So if it's bigger than m, we shade that, I've shaded it in green. N plus m must be bigger than or equal to m, so I've shaded that in blue. To say w that this is true and this is true is to say th then th where they're both shaded, and that is when x is bigger than or equal to n plus m. So that's got this. All right, so that looks better now. We're closer to what we want because we haven't got a conditional sign. I've rewritten it here in red. Now I want to think about expressing this probability x bigger than some number in terms of just a function of one prob probability number. Okay, so let's plug in some of the values into here for m and n. First, set m and n both to be 0. Then, let's say a is prob to x is bigger than 0. So then this is x bigger than 0 equal to x is bigger than uh, 0 squared, because you've got two of them, all right? So in other words, I've got this inequality. I've taken a to the other side and co taken common factor a out. So either a is 0 or a is 1. To make sense all, it's got to be that the answer is 1. So that's what I've written there. Set x to 2. Uh, sorry, set x bigger than 2, right, so set either m and n, uh, both of them 1 and 1. So um, the left hand side is this, the right hand side is that, so it's this guy squared, probably x is bigger than 1 squared. x is bigger than 3, set one of them to be 2, set the other one to be 1, okay, so it adds up to 3. And then by recursion, you see x is bigger than 2 was done up here, and that's expressed in terms of probably x bigger than 1 and this probability x is bigger than 1. So the whole thing is probability x bigger than 1 to a third. And you can see there's a recursion pattern here. So that's a 3, that's a 3, that's a 2, that's a 2 onto the same number probability here. So you can see that, pro let's say, use a different letter now, s, 0, 1, 2, and so on, that if we want to find probability x is bigger than this number s, it's just probability x bigger than 1 raised to the power s. OK, I can rewrite this. Um, differently as follows, look, but probability x bigger than 1 is equal to this, all right, 1 mi uh, minus probability x is less than or equal to 1. Uh, since the values x takes values from 0 up, so you minus, this is the same as saying x is 0 minus x is 1, but probability x is 0 is 0. We know that from this, okay, so then it comes down to this. In other words, rewriting this blue like this. So now we've got some one probability to the power of s. So let's q, you know what I'm thinking about here, q is 1 minus property basically of success. Um, and then p is probability x is equal to 1. Right, so uh, this is the condition then. So we have gone, let's think, step back a bit. We've gone from saying that this condition, memoryless property, implies holds and implies this. Okay. Right, so under this condition, the memoryless property condition, 
we need this guy here to hold it given um, given that x is uh, positive integer values so for values let's go up to k now because I'm using the definition of the uh, so it matches the probability the definition I'm using here for the geometric notice now it's gone 1 2 3 onwards drop the 0 for this bit here you'll see why probability x is equal to k is the difference of these two just think of a number easiest way think of a number like I don't know 3 then that's the same as saying x is bigger than um, 2 minus probability x is bigger than 3 now but each of these guys may be written like this alright so this is k minus 1 so we've got q to the k minus 1 and this one likewise this is one power less than that so in other words we can take a common factor out here being this guy here 1 minus q but 1 minus q we've just called its p because p and q are related like this but we recognize that this is exactly the probability mass function of a geometric of a parameter p so in other words this so if we look back up now what we've our handiwork here we show that using this condition we must reach a geometric we're not going to a Poisson we're not going to a binomial this condition leads us to the geometric now let's just look back a bit more uh, make some comments above further comments you might be thinking here why have I skipped from x is bigger than 0 to 2 where's the 1 gone well you can do 1 guys but it doesn't add any information probability x bigger than 1 is you're going to reach is equal to probability x bigger than 1 look at this line here x is bigger than 3 you might think why has he done chosen one of them to be 2 and the other one 1 why not 1 and 2 well I can so it doesn't matter about order at least as long as one of them is a 2 and the other one is a 1 and then uh, a better question I think the one you're actually going to think about is why doesn't he set one of them to be 3 and the other one to be 0 well I can and, but th it doesn't introduce anything new it'll just be itself again probably because uh, we know probably beginning at 0 is 1 so the idea here is just to pick out the numbers here so we've got a common probability coming out here which is probably x is bigger than 1 okay finally you, you might if you've watched my problem 81 you'll have seen that I've shown that the geometric also satisfies property and so you'll be looking at my proof and saying where why doesn't it make room for the exponential here why doesn't it make room for the exponential well the why it doesn't make room for the exponential guys is although this condition will must hold also for an exponential we kind of make a departure from the exponential here when we start doing this line in brown because we are now supposing it's discrete positive integers where as a, a random variable as exponential has continuous values from zero uh, non-zero values so then we need a different proof to show that under this condition if x were continuous and non-negative we'll reach an exponential and that's a different proof guys you might try it